Hi guys, Jeff here from TAP. Just want to share an interesting case study that we've got in the workshop today. This particular Audi was booked into a uh, second workshop in. It had been to Audi, it had been diagnosed with a knock sensor fault and uh, with a particular code for the which knock sensor. So we used that particular code to order the knock sensor and then subsequently fitted the, the, the knock sensor to the vehicle. Didn't fix the actual problem. Now in the end, the vehicle's got two knock sensors, an upstream and a downstream one. The code that was given to us by Audi was referring to the front knock sensor, but it was actually the rear knock sensor that was actually faulty. Interestingly enough, when we bought the new part, genuine part from Audi, uh, they're virtually, they are identical. Uh, the only difference is, is where these uh, harnesses clip into the vehicle, they're slightly different. So you can actually fit either the front and the back or the back and the front, there's no issue there, uh, but just the, the mounting of it is slightly different. So uh, in the end, we, we mounted it, unfortunately, in the front where it should have gone in the back. We brought it back in again. Uh, again, we kept the old parts. We put the front one back in the front and fitted the brand new one into the rear of the vehicle and happy days. So just in fixing it, O2 sensors are the same, knock sensors where there's multiple positions or, or different ones, different banks, front bank one, bank two, uh, sensor one, sensor two. Just be careful we're replacing the right ones. Funny enough, it has exactly the same module, same plug as well, so they can be interrupted and mounted close to each other. So just be careful we're not mixing up those ones right to left, front to back, etc., or upstream or downstream O2 sensor, or in this case, knock sensors. So again, just be careful with that one. We got caught, but there you can two different knock sensors uh, on the vehicle, basically the same sensor. So just be careful you don't get them mixed up. If you remember, make sure you're utilising the website for all the uh, repair solutions, etc. in there. Uh, we're adding to that 20 per fortnight uh, repair solutions, so the library's growing all, all the time. Uh, if you're not a member, you want to join in and join in with the uh, growing number of technicians that are sharing information, knowledge and experience, just go to the website and hit, click on the Join Up Now button. See you next time.